Now, if you look at this worksheet, it tells me the components of my reaction cocktail. Basically, what goes into my cuvette. Now, here's my cuvette. I'm going to be loading the different components of it. The first thing that's listed is my enzyme, and I'm gonna add my enzyme last. The next thing that's listed is 600 microliters of my CAPS buffer. The next is 150 microliters of my sodium lactate, 150 microliters of NAD+. Now, before I add anything, one of the things that I want to account for is the fact that I'm only using in my first trial, so this one right here, I'm using 25 microliters of my enzyme. If I added 25 microliters of my enzyme to 600 plus 150 plus 150, that would be a grand total of 925 microliters in my cuvette. Now, this says that I need to add additional caps buffer as needed to reach a total volume of 1,000 microliters. So rather than adding just 675, for the very first reaction, I'm going to add 675 microliters of my caps buffer. Now what that means is for reaction two, I'm going to add 650. But that just means that I need to offset any volume difference with additional caps buffer. So I've got my P1000 pipetman set to 625 microliters. I'm going to get my caps buffer. And that's the first thing that I'm going to add to my cuvette. I always like to have Kim wipes nearby so that I can wipe down the cuvette. I'm going to open it up, open up my uh, spectrophotometer. Now I'm going to change my camera a little bit so that I'm over my spectrophotometer and nothing's blurred out there. Okay, so I've got an arrow an arrow on my cuvette. That arrow lines up with that arrow on the biorad. I'm going to put this in here and I'm actually ready to begin adding the different components of my reaction mixture to my um, to my cuvette. So I'm going to get a pipette tip for my P200 and I'm going to add 150 microliters of my sodium lactate solution. So 150 microliters of sodium lactate. Now, sodium lactate's a fairly robust substance or a fairly robust solution compared to the NAD+, which is light sensitive. So I'm gonna add 900, or 150 microliters of my sodium lactate. Mix that up a little bit, pipette it, good. I'm put that back in there. Now I'm going to get another fresh pipette tip. And I'm going to add, I'm going to adjust this a little bit. There we go. My 150 microliters of my NAD+. So right now I've got 675 of my caps buffer. 150 of my sodium lactate, and now 150 of the NAD+. So I've got a total volume of 975 microliters. Now, what I need to do is set up my spectrophotometer to take the appropriate readings. So the first thing that I'm going to do is press lambda. That's going to bring up this lambda assay, and it's going to ask me, well, what am I actually mixing in here? And how many wavelengths do I want to read? That's the first question that I'm asked. This is not asking what is the wavelength, but how many wavelengths. And it defaults to say one. And that's absolutely right. I only want to read one wavelength. So I'm going to press enter. The next thing asks me for, well, what's the wavelength that you want to read? And this is 340. Once I've entered 340, I'm going to press enter. Now keep in mind, this is before I've added my enzyme to this. So I'm going to say, do I want to subtract any background? I'm going to press enter to say no. And now I'm going to read my blank. Okay. So this is basically reset my spectrophotometer to begin reading things at 340 nanometers. I've got my enzyme. 
Ooh, there we are. And now I'm gonna add it to my cuvette. I wanna mix it up as much as possible, but I know that as soon as I add my enzyme in there, my reaction is going. So I'm gonna press read sample, and it's gonna be kind of tough to keep track of this, but I've got time, I've got values, 0 0.779. Now I'm counting down from 15, kind of doing that in my head. This is where it's good to have a second person and I'm watching the timer and I'm roughly ready to read again. Apologies if I was a little bit off there. 0 0.801, okay. Now keep in mind, as soon as this value pops up, that's when my timer begins, my 15 second timer. I'm reading at 0, 15, 30, and 45 seconds. So another two, three seconds and read 0 0.870. And another few seconds. I'm gonna press read sample again right now. And this is the last value that I'm going to be collecting. 0 0.873. Okay, so this gives me 0.779 all the way up to 0.873. And forgive me if that was actually 0.774, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I just want to, I wrote it down, my handwriting's not very good. I apologize for that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this first value, 0 0.873 minus 0 0.779, and divide that difference by my volume, which was 25 microliters of my enzyme. And that's gonna give me, or sorry, not 25 microliters. Instead, this is by, divide that by 0 0.75. Well, I'm using my phone to record, so I can't do this calculation in my head. But that would be whatever value I get there goes into this column. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this resulting value and divide it by 25. And that's going to be what ends up here. I'm gonna do this exact same trial for all four of these different data points, or all four of these different experiments. What I'm going to be able to do with this is I'm going to be able to make a graph that on the y-axis reads A340, and on the x-axis is time, measured in seconds. So at 0, 15, 30, 45. And what you should, what you'll hopefully see is a graph that looks a little bit like that. And then as you add more enzyme, you'll see something that looks like that. So as we're increasing our enzyme volume, we're increasing the slope of our graph, but that is ultimately what it looks like. Now, one thing that I want you to know is this graph right here is not a Michaelis-Minton curve, but it might look like one. All right, well, you need to do four trials with these different enzyme volumes and determine basically what is the sweet spot, what is the highest ratio here, 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 or here, so you can ultimately say what's the right amount of my enzyme that I need to use for all of my, my trials. All right, I hope this is helpful. This is part one of your experiment.